Hi, Full of Reefers. I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's weekly video is on the candy cane, the relocation of the candy cane. I know that I've done videos on it, uh, different uh, specifications and all that, but today I thought I'd shoot a video uh, that I went ahead and I moved it around. It used to be, if you follow me, you'll notice on the full tank shots that I had it on the upper portion of the tank. But I went ahead and I kind of, you know, I'm reserving that area like for SPS or Montiporus. So I went ahead and I lowered it and I looked at it and hey, it, it looked phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead into the video and um, I'm going to show you like different shots, different angles, a full tank shot and then a, a side shot of the actual placement that I have, have it now, the candy cane. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and besides that, I'm going to go like a little refresher on the different specs of the uh, coral. So let's take a deep dive in. Hold on one second. Okay, and here's a full tank shot. As you notice, this is how it looks if you were right here on my domain and you look at the tank from the front. I personally say that it looks better. It looks more natural coming out of that rock work on the substrate. So now I'm going to shoot different angles and I'm going to, like I mentioned before on the intro, I'm going to give you like a little refresher when it comes to this coral. Okay, and here's a close-up shot of the coral at a little angle, but from the front. And like I said before, like a little refresher, the scientific name for the candy canes is called Caulasteria. I'll uh, put it up on the corner of the actual video. This is the scientific name of the coral. And of course, it's of the family of the LPS corals. Of course, for those of you that don't know it, it stands for long polyp stony corals. Now, uh, these corals are easy to care for and it's a definite beginner's coral. Uh, it does like medium low water movement and low to moderate lighting. So when it comes to this coral, where I had it, it was uh, doing fine way up there. I can place it where I have it now and it'll do great. I could even put it in the middle level of, of the tank when it comes to light and flow and it'll also do uh, great. But why? Because of one thing that I've uh, learned as I've gone along and on. If uh, the coral, and this is a rule of thumb for any coral, I'm talking about from softies, LPS, SPS, even acros. Uh, if any coral, and I'm talking about any, if any coral are acclimated properly, you can place them anywhere in your reef. And that's totally true. Um, I have had situations where you read about this coral that I've just purchased, and it says, no, no, uh, low level light or not too strong of uh, water flow, water current, shall, you know, if you want to call it. And yet, if I acclimated it properly, uh, what I do is I always put them on the sand, on the substrate, like for two weeks. I do not use the acclimation mode on the radion. And then another note, uh, another refresher that, of course, being an LPS type coral, the following parameters should be kept. Of course, calcium should be kept between 4 and 430. Uh, because uh, being a large polyp stony coral on LPS corals, these type of corals, if they don't have enough calcium, they will not grow. So it's very important that you keep your calcium between 4 and 430. And then when it comes to alkalinity, I would say between uh, about from 8 to 11 dKH, preferably shooting towards 10. And when it comes to phosphates, of course, it should be zero. Uh, magnesium, eh, I would say between 1200 and 1350. Uh, magnesium makes calcium available, so if your calcium is low, definitely check your magnesium. Um, and then, of course, you will uh, have to add a little more calcium to compensate for that, and uh, you should be. Well, good that's to basically go. it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it informative. And uh, I hope uh, it's more pleasing to look at the uh, candy canes over there than versus here. And like I said before, 
uh, I'm leaving this area to put like, you know, like Montipora, SPS, and I forgot to mention also Acros, which those really, really would need for medium to high lights and then the actual bombardment of the currents from the MP10. So if you like the video, hit, hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. And right next to the subscription, there's a little bell, hit that bell. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a fantastic, wonderful day. Bye-bye.